other students, yeah. it's not even. Why you? You're like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, bro. And the kid trying to tell me he's so good at cutting hair. I'm like, bro, you. Who's good at cutting hair? You made my beard on here. What are you talking about? Is it just because you make one beard uneven doesn't make you bad at cutting hair? Shit. <laughs> What's yeah. up, you guys? Yeah, so, black ball. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Bay Area, in the house. Babelous gang. Stop, Frank. All right, so uh, we're, just, we're just sitting here at the school. I just thought I'd go live for a few minutes here. Um, I got my friend Michael here, and he's working on a ball fade on Sterling. You are doing a ball fade, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're just we're just going to talk about the process and, and go through it. If anybody's got any questions out there, um, feel free to fire away, ask them, and I'll, I'll answer any questions that you guys might have. Yeah, the Babylon is garbage. It still is. It always was. They're con air to me. They're they're just yeah for sure. All right. So uh, when are we gonna put the ball line in here, buddy? Explain to them what you already did. Uh, so far, I have just taken it down to a. Uh, one, one up close. top, one close up top, and we're just working our way down with the half guard. Okay. So, <coughs> you're, you're choosing once. to do a down fade. You don't yes. want to put the line in? Nope. He said he wanted a high fade, so transition. Let's put the line in right now. Why waste time? Right. We're going to go over Wait, the same spots over and over now? again. What line are hey, bro, that about? podcast, you guys like that podcast with MMA? Did you guys all go check that out? Um, just, just a quick... Um, Quick update on um, what's going on with that 50 cal. It's going to be the giveaway is being launched on Thursday. I dropped another tutorial, and in that tutorial, it's, it's going to be the contest rules are going to be all there. So, the modified GTX blades by Mate, by ProMate. You're talking about ProMate, right? On eBay. Um, I, I've had a few ProMate blades that I thought were no good. I mean, they were no better than any other blade I've had. As a matter of fact, I had two of them. I sent both of them back because they were both trash. Hey, what's up, Cody? He's up in here. Oh, oh, I'm saying Babylus as a company. I'm not saying that they're, they're one. The one thing they did right, yeah. So how about all the other stuff they did? How's the Valari doing? How's the X1? How's the X2? How's the FX0 dot dash ding dot? Whatever. Come up with a better name. All right, here, let's, let's close this up. Close this thing up. Or let's make this line. I understand that a lot of people don't want to make a line because they're a little bit concerned about, you know, if they're going to be able to get it out. But you're going to be able to get it out very easy. Very, very easy. So go ahead and take care of the rest of it. So I got him putting in the bald, the bald line right now. He's going to go through, take it to about the occipital bone then jump to the other side and make sure it's even. So yeah, like everybody knows that when you first start in cutting hair, it's, it's, it's uncomfortable, it's, it's a little bit difficult, but there is, you know, oh, you guys, you like, you like that, huh? But yeah, you gotta, you gotta just push through it. You gotta get that, they're creating what barbers need, he says, fabulous. That's my boy, Cody. He says, uh, they're, they're creating, what, what barbers need. Well, they're going to have to create a couple more things. That's for sure. Oh, what's up, Alpha? Band-Aids. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, they can create some band-aids for the stuff. <laughs> Columbia, what's up, man? This is Our Columbia, Live TV, Columbia. what's up? Carl Guitar, what's up? Big L's Barber Channel, what's up? All Big L in the house. You know, I give you a shout out on my next video, man. I already got it in there. Don't even worry about that. We got to let everybody know. Go follow Big L. He's dope. You having any luck getting them barbers, Big Al? We got a whole bunch of them in Florida. They're ready to move out. They're ready to move out. You guys want to go work in L.A.? Yeah. Like, uh, He's already worked in L.A. Hey, rise and grind. Rise and grind, right? What's up, Chad? Chad's in the house. Chad's in the house. All right, so how do you guys attack your skin line? So he's, he's got his skin line in. Let's go ahead and, and wipe up all the rest. Just clean off everything underneath it. So... How do you guys attack this skin line? Give me some comments here. Consensually. What's up, Anthony Thomas? What's good? Stupid. But how do you guys attack this skin line? I'm gonna flip this real quick. 
Alright. So in this case, he attacks with the gold FX trimmer. That's how you attack a skin line. He prefers to do it close to open with the trimmer. Okay, so you guys already know that that I don't like to bald people out with the trimmers. I think most people, after you spend enough time, are, are going to prefer to get a detachable clipper, put a 5-0 on there. Because, like, we can already see that this is taking up a lot of time. Like, we got to get this done uh, in a timely manner. We got to get this done quick. And we want to be efficient. So we're going to use a detachable generally to, to put this line in. But he did it with the closed taper, which puts it How many zeros? How many zeros is that? The regular closed taper on the wall magic clip. All right. So that's three. That's three. We need to get down to five so that we can make our jump. We can make our jump real small. So we're obviously going to use an electric shaver of some kind. It says four, five, three. All right. We want to make the jump small. We want to make the trip small. So if we're jumping from, from only five zeros into this electric shaver, then we're going to have a small jump and it's going to be easy to fade. Like this is not going to be easy to fade right now because this is still, still a little bit of hair here. He says he loves his octanes. I do too, man. The, the octanes are definitely dope. All right, so let's, let's finish cleaning them up right here, buddy. And then what we'll do is we're going we're gonna to follow up this step with your trimmer underneath it. Hey, that kind of looks like an anamorphic lens back there, the way this looks. He uses a 6.0, the one millimeter. Actually, you asked me about that the other day. And, and Fidel, I sent out your package, bro. You should be getting it in a couple days. You're going to have the magic clips. And I did put the charger in there. Remember, we talked about that. Or use the balder and save your trimmer. Uh-oh, MMA back in the house. What's good? That was a great podcast, man. I feel like we still had a lot to cover, and I didn't even get to like half of it. Yeah, so let's, let's follow him up with the trimmer. Don't be afraid. Take it right down here. Bam. And just take it right up to that line. It's all good. You guys got to trust in your tools. Hey, what's up, Juan? How we doing, man? Yeah, I'll be ready, man. We got to do it on a Saturday night, all right? Saturday night. I have to have you on mine one of these times. But, yeah, we, we, we got to do it on a Saturday night. That way we can talk a little bit longer and I ain't got to wake up at 5 in the morning. Y'all know I'm doing CrossFit, right? I'm doing CrossFit. Well, actually, I haven't actually done any CrossFit yet, but I'm starting Thursday. That's, that's going to suck because I got to get up, like, really early. MC the Barber put his seal of approval on the 357 Magnum today. Caliber is finally making some noise. Hey, you know it. You know it. No Saturdays. No Saturdays. Boo. Around Legend Blade to balled out. Oh, don't start. Don't start. Frank, I know you want to stir the pot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got them completely bald everywhere. We just want to make sure, you know, make sure there's no other hair there. And we'll take the, we'll take the skin machine and we're going to work it. See, like this is something that um, I think a lot of people go wrong in their, in their fades, like when they're doing this. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to demonstrate in just one small spot here. But like basically we, wherever we stop, we, we don't want to have a line in between our, our five zero line and our, our electric shaver. So down here, push as hard as you want. Get rid of it. Hey, where is Ant? Where is Ant? Where's the Ant Man? But as I get to this top, I'm gonna start lifting away. I'm gonna start lifting away. And I'm gonna create no line. Now I can also come down with it. And that's gonna help to wipe away a lane. A line, why is coming down with it gonna stop a line from happening to you guys? What is the difference between coming down and coming up? Against them with the grain. That's right. That's right. So against the grain, right? That's going to take more hair, but with the grain, it's going to take less hair. So all I need you to do now is just take this off the same way that I did. And as soon as you get up here, just start kind of moving it away. Yeah. When you're working down around his ears, just pull this back. Um, we can get all that, them long hairs with a razor. So I don't really worry too much about those. We'll just, we'll knock those out um, with the razor. I'll take it. I got you. Oh, look at this. Look at this case he's got though. A case is fresh. Yeah, the, the discount code's about to um, the discount code's about to expire. Um, July, I think it's July thirty first or something. The discount code's gonna expire. So if any of you guys want to get your caliber gear, um, get your fifteen percent discount um, code Eddie. And I guess they're they're sending me a new um, fifty cal 
in the mail and that, that new 50 cal blade. I've been kind of like waiting for it. I was driving my uh, mailman nuts the past few days. And he says pepper it towards the top. Yeah, that's a, t that's a term I haven't used in a while. And yeah, you're right, you're right. You can definitely pepper it. And for anybody who doesn't know, that's basically just, just bumping it into the scalp um, a few times to just kind of kind of blend it. You didn't like it, so I don't think you did. I'm sorry, what? Oh no, it, there was there was a little situation where, where it was it was off for a day. I don't know what happened there. I had a couple people texting me, but it, it does it does work. Um, thank you, Christian uh, Camilio. I appreciate that. How much is it? It's fifteen percent off plus it's free shipping anywhere in uh, the United States uh, domestic. Thank you, thank you. My beard's looking fresh. Guess who did my beard? This girl right here. What's up? What's up? So she yeah she just she just lined my beard. I'm gonna grow it out for a year or so. A month? Yeah, this is about a month. You know, it's a good month. All right, so look. He's got this coming together. Coming together nice. All right, we're going to have a little bit of residual there because once you, once you come into this area, like if you make the line too harsh, it's going to be harder to get rid of. So this is where you could use the peppering technique to just get get that freshened up. And one of the reasons why this, this was difficult to get rid of was because the trimmer didn't come all the way up high enough and you could have taken that out, some of it with the trimmer as well. But you're doing great, man, keep it up. Now just get, make sure that you get all these little hairs like, you know, afterwards against the grain there and all that. Um, so did anybody machine? try the new blade? I'm sorry, what'd you say? What is that machine? That's an electric shaver. That's a wall five star finale. I mean, wall Which finale. Which is different than the clipper. Yeah, um, come, and, come and feel it if you if you haven't. I saw you know, that you just, take the line it'll out. It'll take it. Oh. Yeah, it takes it down to absolutely nothing. That's so, yeah. But has anybody used the new 50 cal blade? Anybody got any thoughts on it? I, I know a few of you guys got it. Uh, yeah, my fast feeds have been kind of sitting in a drawer. Ever since I um, got my caliber clipper, I kind of have really just enjoyed working with no cord, no cable. Um, the wall shaver better than the Andy shaver? That's, that's a good question. I think that the Braun is better than both of them. But I think they're pretty comparable, those two. Yeah, I'm not going to fix something that isn't broke. Great, great question uh, and good comment, Chad. I definitely, I definitely don't want to get rid of my Braun Series 9 when it's, it's just killing it. The 50 cal fade blade, the same as the senior fade. Yeah, it, it looks, it looks like it's a little more rust to be on, robust. To be honest, I, I don't know if it's gonna get as close or not. But yeah, all my all my bronze series nine fans, in the comments, leave a comment. Do you use it? Have you used it? Or are you still, um, are you still rocking with with one of these? Or maybe a five star. You know, if you you know if, if it be hard in the booth, you know you might still have a five star. It's all good. I got a few five stars laying around. Bronze Series 7. My man went cheap. What's the matter? You couldn't put up the extra 50 bucks? The 7? <laughs> I'm just playing. I had a 7. It, it was actually pretty good. There is one little advantage to the 9. It's just got that little crossbar that can pick up some pretty long um, hairs. But, you know, I know your channel's picking up, mm. MMA. I know your channel's picking up steam real nice. I know you're getting them nice YouTube checks and you about to... About to flex on a nine, series nine. A hundred dollars, couldn't beat it. You know, I paid like 120 for my series nine like three years ago on eBay. Now it was used, but I'm gonna tell you right now, now it's used. Like if it was used then, I don't know what you call it now. Do they have a, a section there where you could say like, it's, it's beat to sleep, it's beyond use. But it still works fine. I, I changed the blade as necessary. Oh, he's going to get the caliber one. I haven't used that one. He said, what's the rest, best razor blade that I use? I usually put the link in the description on those, but it's 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 touch and go on that, man. I mean, I'm having a pretty good luck with, with Astros right now. A good blade for the Andis NVLI. MMA, handle this one. What's a good blade for the Andis NVLI? I like the Wall Saggertooth blade on it. That's pretty good. A Wall St STD blade on it is pretty good. A wall um, wedge. I like the wedge blade on it. That that that's pretty nice. But 
I've honestly probably had the best luck with the regular senior blade, the regular STD blade. You too, MMA, right? That's what I'm talking about. All right, let me ask you guys this. Appointments versus non-appointments. Give me, give me some feedback here. Do you do appointments or do you do walk-ins and which one is better? Go ahead and give me some, give me some stuff here. All right, let's flip this around. Okay, so these are real world problems, people. All right, y'all see this? We got a little residual here. Mm -hmm. We can't have that, but we're gonna get rid of that. Very easy. All right, over here, pretty smooth. Over here, okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna retrace our steps with the, with the trimmer just for a second here. When this kind of thing happens, all we gotta do is just, we're gonna, we're gonna move our trimmer back in here. I just need to neaten this up a little bit because I feel like I feel like I can't really see what's going on, so I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit, run that right in there. See how much better that looks already? See how we don't have nearly as much? I know on the camera I'm not really cutting it. Uh, both appointments and walk-ins. Kinda tough to juggle that one. Kinda tough to juggle that one. All right, you see what I'm doing here, Michael? If you don't have it set tight enough, you can come up and do it this way. Mm -hmm. But all right, so just, just do that all the way around here. So you guys feel like appointments are better than all money is welcome, he said. Well, all right, let's, say that, let's set up this scenario. If you have an appointment walk-in, but you had a walk-in, and now you're running late on your, your walk-in, because you decided to take that walk-in, you're running late on your appointment. What if your appointment is an important person, a loyal customer, this walk-in is a transient person? I mean, obviously these things can't be known. What do you do? Do you take the appointment, or do you just, you know take that walk in. Now, I don't know, you know, it's, it's, um, I feel you, I feel you, Cody. Appointments first, he says. First come, first serve. Ray L says, wing it. Just wing it. Wing dang them, right? No. <laughs> but I, I can definitely see that there's, there's advantages to both. I started using six clippers to do a taper. <laughs> Oh my God. What do you do with all them clippers? you like, oh, Vic Blends. Vic Blends be using like seven clippers to do a taper. You, you know, you get paid, you gotta get, you gotta get them, them things in. All right, so let's, let's just start by putting in our, our open taper line now. Oh, how was it cutting Mike Epps? Tell us the story. Um, yeah, I mentioned it in my next video. Yeah, just open it, open it, make a secondary line. We wanna make it about, yeah, a little, a little bit wider than that. That's good. That's good. Yeah, so just make that secondary line all the way around the head. Yo, cutting Mike Apps was dope, man. Um, I actually almost told him that he... Okay, wait, hang on. Spill a certain days to walk in. Make sure you post your schedule in your shop and make it known. Yeah, he's right. He's right. Walk-ins are a good way to go, and I'm not knocking walk-ins at all. Like, um, there's definitely a lot of advantages to that. I, I do feel like I've got a deeper connection with my customers who are waiting for me more um, with, with the appointments. I'm definitely making, a, making a deeper connection with certain people. I'm seeing them more. They're able to come and just stop in on their lunch break. So, you know, it's, it's all money if you do walk-ins too, so I'm not knocking it. But, yeah, anyways, I, I, was, I was actually leaving the shop because I was going to go and do something real quick. I blocked off a half hour and... This dude comes over, he's like, what's up, player? And he shakes my hand, and I don't even know who he is. And then I, he asked, he was like, I need a cut. And I'm like, well, bro, you ain't got no appointment. And I just looked at him, and I was like, wait a minute, why you look so familiar? And he was like, I'm Mike Epps. And then I looked again, and I was like, from Friday? He was like, yeah. So I was like, oh, that's, that could wait. Come on in, man, I'm going to take care of you. So, you know, he was a super, super cool dude, man. And then we went to a show the next day, and he shouted us out. It was, it was super, super cool. Thank you for teaching. Started Just started my career and your tutorials are helping me. Thank you uh, so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate that. And without your guys' support, this channel could never be um, what it is and, and what it has grown to be so far. So I really appreciate that. So, um, all right, let's get back to this fade for a second, you guys. What you think? Learning a lot from Eddie. All right, my next tutorial that I'm, that I'm dropping, it's all in 4K and that was a real nightmare. It took me a while to edit that, but all right, so let's, let's go with it. All right, so I'm going to show you guys another little spot right here. All right, so I told him to just go through and do the open taper. Went through, we did the open taper. I'm not really cutting a whole lot here. We're going to begin bumping this down. Start putting it on an angle. 
And if there's still a little bit of residual here at the bottom of your line, it's okay. I'm gonna save these sides for you. I'm gonna bump this down a little bit more. I'm keeping it on an angle. See that crisscross? And I don't know if you guys can see, but like I'm really keeping that thing flat and on that angle. All right, so you can already see that the line's starting to dissipate. Can you stand it just a side, just a tiny bit, give me my light? That's good, thank you, man, I appreciate that. So as I, as I close this down just a little bit more, you're gonna see this is starting to dissipate. It's gonna start to disappear completely. And I'm not even done. I got a little bit more to go. So I'll go almost all the way. Now I'm just rocking into the line, just a little bit into that line. And little by little, this is gonna disappear. All right, I got it all the way down now. When you have it all the way down, this is probably the most likely time for you to make a mistake. So just make sure that you're keeping it on an angle, keeping it flat, and just sort of chipping away at that line little by little. Just using the corners a little bit. You guys can see that that line is starting to come out. All right. Now there's there's a little there's a little bit of, of area where you can see right where the right where the trimmer left out. And with this all the way closed, I'm I'm not able to I'm not able to get it. But in some spots, it came out pretty smooth. So it's all good. We'll just return back to the trimmer for a second. Because now we know that the next step down from a closed taper is what? It's a trimmer. So we're going to hit it with the trimmer. And again, this is really important that you keep this on an angle. Just use the corners. Now, visually, it's, it's actually starting to look pretty good. But through my camera, I'm actually still seeing, you know, little, little spots that can be improved. And that's just how it is with the cameras, man. You're gonna, you're gonna be able to pick up stuff that, that normally you don't see. But you guys can see that that blend's starting to come out pretty good. And we just got a tiny bit more we could do. I can now return, since I did it with that, I can now return to this. And it's just a case of a little bit of peppering, a little touch up, come down with the grain first to kind of cushion yourself, you know? Then you can come up against the grain a little bit if you feel like you need to. I mean, you can see right, right there in the area I did the blend, it's, it's looking pretty good. I want you to do the exact same thing on this side and that side. And if you struggle, I'll help you, but I'll be watching. So, same thing, same thing. So yeah, definitely, uh, definitely seeing some advantages with the appointments. For me, it's made my life a little bit easier. Kind of know what to expect. I know when I can leave the shop and when I can come back. And... Um, I didn't, I didn't invent the word peppering. It's actually something I used to say a long time ago, and I have really no idea where, where that actually came from. Probably as old as the electric shavers have, have been around. You guys know I've been coming to this building and teaching people here since 2011. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I look really young in some of my old videos. I was looking at them the other day, and I was like, my, how you have aged. I got the crow's feet. I didn't have those when I started. I didn't have those. But so what do you what do you guys do when you encounter a difficult client? I ha I had a client that I um I almost had to throw out of the shop the other day. I'm not even lying. Like it's it's like two times. I wish you would have been near Naples. It would have been dope to link up. It really would have. But anyway, so so I had a client in the shop the other day that was that was really oh the the series nine blends out the bald line even easier even easier than the um, the wall five star will. So this guy comes in and he's like, can you guys do a fade in here? I need someone to do a fade. I'm like, yeah, of course. But like I had appointments, so he wasn't going to get with me. The the other two guys who are really good at fades in my shop or three guys that are really good at shade, fades in my shop, they had appointments. But one of the older guys was there. He was good to go. And the dude said he wanted a number one on the back and sides and a little scissors on top. Let me ask the community, is that a fade? A one on the back and sides and scissors on top? To me, it's not. Like, when you say fade, I want skin. And, like, if somebody did a one on the back and sides of my hair, when I said I wanted a fade, I mean, it wouldn't even cut nothing. I mean, I get this thing cut, like, every couple of days. But, anyways, I told the guy to, to calm down because afterwards he wasn't happy. The guy, you know, I told the guy to calm down. He was freaking out. He was like, this is the worst haircut I've ever had, blah, blah, blah. So... I took it away from the guy who did it and I said, listen, I'll, I'll put you in my chair, I'll fix your cut. Just chill for a minute, let me finish my customer. So I get to fixing my customer, he's sitting there and he's just bashing the other barber who did it. He's bashing him over and over again. 
and I put my hand on the Barbara Strong cape and I was about to rip it off and tell them to get the hell out. But I've worked way too hard on Google and Google reviews and optimizing everything that I just couldn't, I just couldn't uh, bring myself to, to put that at risk. No, his cut was not jacked up. His cut was buttery smooth. It was clean. He was complaining because he was one of them dudes who wants to wear his hair back when it don't go back. And he wants to fade real high so he can have like a little hair that sticks out here. My barber, he did his blend a little bit lower and all of it was laying back nice. But so I, I was I was frustrated. You know, I was really close to throwing him out. And um, I just I just had to take a deep breath. Um, just get him done and get him out. I didn't agree with him or do anything like, uh, you know, I, I didn't I didn't help him bash my, my other barber or nothing like that. It actually really upset me. And it was he was real close. It was real close to getting the cape ripped off and told to get out with half a cut. But your boy kept it cool, all right? I kept it cool. I just, it, it's taken me years of, of just, you know, taking deep breaths and stuff. And, and uh, yo, look how fresh the face starting to come out, all right? His blend's looking smooth. How about that? A tutorial on flat tops. The client was right if he wanted it high. He, yeah, he did. He didn't really do a great job of explaining it. I kind of was half listening, but um, you know, even even when I did his haircut, he he tried to give me a hard time for a minute. But um, you know, yeah, sport clips. Yeah, you know, he said he said at sport clips, he probably would have been happy with the cut he got. He actually got a real blend this time. I, I have done a few flat top tutorials. I really need to do another one. I got a guy who's got like a serious block head and I always tell him that when I see him and he, he has just got like the perfect head and the perfect hair for it. It just seems like every time I, I've tried to film it, there's been something that gets in the way. Definitely. Oh, you're at school watching? Look at you, man. At school watching this school. So, all right, you guys, let's, let's see what he needs to do now. All right. So it, it looks like, it looks like you've done pretty good. Getting rid of that bottom part of the line. That looks pretty clean. Um, what I could say here is let me just see the clipper for a second. All right, I'm just going to open it. I'm just going to make sure that I'm pressing it flat. I'm going to just see if I can get any of this. You, you guys see this tiny little bit of residual here? So I just want to see if I can get any of that with it open. Sometimes you can if you press hard enough and you keep it on an angle. But we'll just take it down a little bit. Now I'm just using only the corner. And I hear it cutting, so I know I got it. It's just... And, and this is kind of subjective at this point. Like, what does the fade need to be good? Like, is it good enough um, at this skin level right now? Is it good enough? That's something that you're going to constantly be asking yourself. And, uh, you know, I, I think as, as you get better as a barber, the things that go through your mind are, are no. Um, yes, he was, he was happy after his cut. He left happy with, with a cut that he, he liked. So in the end, uh, you know, that, that was all right. But, I mean, the guy was so rude that it, it was beyond... Uh, you know, it was beyond like the, the normal realm of things that you see. All right, so I pretty much gotten most of the bottom part of that blend pretty good. Maybe we could do a little touch up with the electric shaver here. See, in the very beginning, when you when you put your skin line in with the, the clothes taper, um, I, I think partially that, that sort of that sort of screwed you up a little bit because then when we put it in with the uh, um, the trimmer afterwards, we didn't have it even all the way around and that's that's when this kind of stuff could happen so I, I would recommend that if you don't have a a balding clipper or something to to go through and put that thing in nice just do it with your trimmer and then you can even come underneath it with your clothes taper just put the line in make the line clean you know and yeah just just go straight to the trimmer don't even waste time with that so all right now now it looks like um we're gonna be able to knock out the majority of this blend probably with a half guard so let's let's just throw the half guard on here and let's let's get up in there and just do the same thing open and then close it gradually then we'll hit them with a little fresh lineup and we'll we'll get rid of all this hair you guys see all this hair my man sterling grows hair from one side of the earth to the other yeah we could we could do that haircut on on sterling we can just connect he's got side hair y'all see the side hair the wolfman hair so but anyways, I'm hearing uh, some rumors from Caliber that they're going to be putting out a new trimmer pretty soon, which should be should be pretty dope. Um, I have a feeling that they're going to compete with just about anybody out there. They're finally making enough noise. You know, it's, it's not really like even fair that people are always bashing on the Barber Society, um, the Caliber Clipper Company, 
because most of us, the majority of us who have used them really like them, you know? He said, can you, can you somehow improve power and torque on the Magic Clip cordless? Mine feels weak. I did talk about this before in another video where you actually can take apart your Magic Clip and just double check that the negative terminal on the battery, just double check that actually both of them are on there and they're soldered on there good. Oh, the, uh, when am I getting the Babyliss GTX? Okay, I'm getting the Babyliss Gold FX trimmer when Babyliss sends me one with a letter of apology for being such a terrible company um, for as long as they have. What's up, Eddie? The screen says, that's Eddie, waved, saying hi. <laughs> that's cool, man. What's good, man? What's up, Greg? Oh, he likes the 50 cal for life. I really like the 50 cal, too. Yeah, the answer is probably no. Yeah, you're right. I I'll probably never own one. Um, unless somehow, some way I wind up with one, I'll probably just use it for like a week and just give it away on the channel. But I just, uh, my Slimline Pros are a beast. What do I need those for? I think that Caliber is going to put a trimmer out. Um, and it, it's supposed to be magnetic. I'm just, you know, I'm just going for the rumors. I can't really say too much about it, but it, it's, it's going to be pretty dope. And I'm kind of excited to... Uh, to, to see it but yo the other caliber the 38 special is not a bad trimmer like if if you like the um if, if you like the wall detailer it really cuts a lot like that and it's and it's cordless so it's and it's got a four hour runtime so it's it's very similar to that the caliber trimmers are loud though i'll give you that they're they're really loud but you know it's looking good man I actually asked him about that. Is the owner a serious gun enthusiast? And, you know, there's there's two owners from what I understand. And they they are like, the one guy's like an engineer, super, super savvy when it comes to a lot of that stuff. And uh, the other one's a little bit more of like a book, a, a book smart kind of kind of guy. So it's just, you know, it, it's it's a combination of those two. But they, they just came up with the names. They do like, he, he does like guns, but they, they do, they just came up with the names, thought they were cool and, and went with it, you know. I think it'd be like kind of dope if, you know, if since they since they are kind of repping the gun companies and stuff, I think it'd be kind of cool if they did like maybe a 4th of July or something like that, did some kind of um, donation to veterans or something. I think that would be pretty dope, like a, per, a percentage of maybe some of their profits at some point to, to do something like that. I, I haven't even suggested that. It literally just popped into my head now. But I mean, hey, they're already, they're already in the woods on that. Yo, Bundy. Well, I, you, you, I think you should go for it. There's not really a big difference between the nines. Um, wasn't sure what, what he was talking about. That oh, the curly hair. What we doing here? What you doing here? Hold up, I'm gonna help out. Just chill. I just love cutting kind of hair, man. I don't even come <laughs> home. He's the client that you get frustrated with. They be like, "Oh, hold up, hold up." Hold up, I went to right. school. Listen, what would you guys do if a client wants to hold a hand mirror the entire time while they cut your hair? What would you guys do? They're holding the hand mirror and they want to watch you for the whole thing. He said, "Rip the cape off of him." He said, "Just rip the cape right off of him." So, bro, if you think you could do a better job. He said, point to the door. Rip it off and just point. Don't even say nothing. Just say, like, T you take the mirror with you. <laughs> oh, man. When cutting hair, does good lighting matter? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Definitely. Yeah. It's, I mean, as you guys can see, there's a lot of details in these haircuts, and it's, it's very difficult to see everything that you need to see in any, per in any condition. It's, it's, it's hard enough to do. He said, choke them out. He said, if the client gives you that, choke him out. That's MMA Barber, probably. No, it wasn't MMA Barber, but you should have said that, MMA. Tighten up. He said he uses two ring lights to cut hair. Yo, if you, how can you use two of these? I mean, this thing is so bright that you can't even see me. It's like brighter than the sun. Like, and this is not even all the way up, probably. No, it is. That's like an anamorphic lens when I look at that. So tell him he needs to angle it more, Eddie. All right, let's see what's up. All right, so... Now that we, we got some pretty good lighting, let me flip this back. We got some pretty good lighting in here. We can kind of see, you know, like right in here. Yeah, we got just a couple little spots here. We did it open. I'm just coming in with it open all the way. I'm begin closing it a little bit. 
And like anytime that you're doing any kind of cleanup work, this really works well. Like a lot of you guys like to fade from the bottom of the line up, but like if you do choose to use my system, this this makes it really easy to find like where where that spot that's kind of causing you issues is just by gradually lowering it, lowering it and staying a little bit lower than you were in your previous step. So I mean already that looks that looks a whole lot, you know, smoother and I really didn't even do like a whole lot. Like he did a solid job on this, you know, so these guys are, are getting in getting in their reps. All right, so like what I see right now is we gotta we gotta get rid of that that little bit right there, and um, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty close to good. So then we'll then we'll go through and we'll just we'll just line them. But yeah, just just get rid of this this little res residual here. So what I would do is start with um, can somebody take this? I only got one hand. All right, so start with this all the way closed and just try to chip into it a little bit with it here. Mm -hmm. And again, using that crisscross pattern, that crisscross motion, mm -hmm. just yeah. using a corner. You can open this up a little bit. And we're, we're looking a little bit better, you, you agree? That looks a little bit better. Like, I don't think that we're gonna be able to I don't think that we're gonna be able to get this out, even if this is zero gapped enough. Like I just don't think we're gonna be able to get this out with this. Why? Because I got an ugly head. Yeah, that'd be it. So take the trimmer in here, flip that a little bit, use just the corner, and then we'll we'll make sure that we we hit that up. And that's that's definitely getting better. So use the crisscross in the corner of the blade, man. That's clutch, and you gotta make sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll blend the sideburns in. You want me to do it real quick? I think it's a good thing to show. Uh, we, we got a little bit more work here to do than what I'm going to do. But, like, look, when I whenever I do these sideburns, this is just the way that I like to do them. I take it in the open position, and I'll knock off some of this hair, right? Now I'm going to begin closing it, and I'm just going to go a little bit higher than I was. So when I first had it all the way open, I was right here. I closed it a little bit. I was right here. Hello, Georgina. So now I'm going to close it a little bit more, and I'm going to be working up here. Once I get a little bit closer to the top, I'm gonna to close it all the way. I have it all the way closed. And you're gonna see that that's gonna, that's gonna blend in pretty good. We're gonna wipe that all out with the razor, but you can see that that's gonna start blending in. Switch up with me. And then you can, you can come in here with this too. So that you wind, up, you wind up getting that blend, then we'll put the line on it. We might choose to blend it a little bit more, but 90% of the time, that's, that's pretty much how I normally handle that situation. And even people with big beers and big swole beers like mine, hopefully someday, um, will will be like, you know, someday I'll, I'll grow a beard that's worthy. But you know, he said, give him the nice part in the front. Was good. Wow, bro. He ain't got enough hair, bro. You know, his, it'll split. It'll look like a road. His hair is a little thin. You know, I don't want it to look like a road, uh, like somebody drove a truck through it. You know what I mean? But. Anyways, most people, even if they do have a, a little beard, you know, a little beard, even if they do have a thick beard, generally speaking, they always keep this area fairly short. And uh, ask Cody how many times I zeked into his beard. You know, sometimes you will dip down a little bit. That's just, you know, the name of the game. So uh, that's, yeah, that's prime time. Uh, that's my boy. We're always, cutting, we're always cutting each other's hair like five, ten minutes before it's time to get up out of here. And the last thing you want to do is, uh, is that. But... You know, we got to put in the time for each other, too, because you guys all work in shops with other barbers. You guys all need fresh cuts. You got to look as good as you can. So, you know, sometimes you got you to gotta help your boy out. That's looking good, bro. Hold up, hold up. Y'all want to see? Y'all want to see this? He's looking real good. Look at that fade. Look at that fade. That's what's up. I want you guys to give him a little, give him a little hand. Give him a couple claps, all right? This man's working his way through here. This man is working his way through hair school while he's working at Sam's Club and he's just busting his butt, man. And he's just, you know, he, he's putting in a lot of hours both here and at his other job. And I got a lot of respect for anybody who does that, you know. So for anybody who's, who's just going through um, hair school or, or you're in the, you know, you're in the beginning stages, look at all these hands they're giving you, bro. Look at all them. Thank you. So, you know, any, anybody who's able to put themselves through hair school and you got kids and you got jobs and you got other stuff to do, like, I got mad respect for you. And I was kind of thinking about this last Tuesday when I left. I was kind of, like, thinking about what, what makes me want to continue doing this.
is the fact that I could I could mess with people like that, man. They can really excuse me, Miss Mercedes. Sorry, it just wet and it got. I can mess with people like that though. They're putting themselves through a lot of work. It's not easy to go to night school and do all these things, and um, a beard tutorial on myself. King of never feeding my beard and going too far. See, I told you guys I'd be Zeke and Cody. But, yeah, I can mess with these guys that are doing this. But, listen, man, it's been a little while. I'm going to get up out of here. Thank you guys so much for joining. Check out the new tutorial. It's coming out on Thursday, I believe. And don't miss your chance to win the 50 cal. And, uh, you know, thank you guys so much for tuning in and, and hanging out with us. I'll probably try to start going live on, on Tuesday nights a little bit whenever I can. All right? I appreciate all you guys. And I'll see you guys in another video soon. How do I turn this thing off? <laughs> Only six.